for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our team deathmatch run and gun series, and this is High Rise. My class is the MP5K with silencer. Just as a side note, I use the UMP uh, with silencer now. The 1887s with a Kimbo, although they have been recently patched, and I would not recommend using them. Use some other sidearm or some other shotgun that you're comfortable with using, or even uh, a Kimbo um, automatic pistols. I've got claymores, stun grenades, which I now use uh, flash grenades, Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, Ninja Pro, and I have Final Stand on. Kill streaks are set to Care Package, Predator Missile, and Harrier Strike. All right, don't be haters. I'm using the 1887s, and these are pre-patched, so they are very powerful. Um, I'm going to rectify this by using. Uh, the default classes on my next series, uh, depending on what I cover, whether it's uh, demolition, uh, domination, or whatever it happens to be. Uh, that way there's no worries about me owning because I have these powerful beasts in my hand. Nonetheless, um, yeah, I get cream there. When I start in deathmatch on high rise, the first thing I do is I take that uh, bottom path. If I'm running and gunning, I'm going to have Marathon and uh, Lightweight on usually because I want to sprint there. I want to get to the other side because there's always a handful of people that are sitting back. Snipers, uh, even assault classes that aren't going to come running and rushing out of that building. Um, other run and gunners, yes, they're going to be coming out. But technically, uh, they come out the other side usually because if they're in a rush to get out, they actually exit crisscross of the map. So you don't actually run across them, you only come across those that are trying to um, snipe and stuff, which is how I nailed that dude uh, in the very beginning, if you go back and you'll see that. Once I'm done doing that, um, I basically just systematically and continuously go back and forth on the maps. I mean, there's no real, and I always take perimeters. If I'm going to take the middle, the unique thing about this is taking that lower area there. Um, I will go down there, I will venture there, because obviously some people are trying to sneak, some people are trying to flank by using that and pop up behind you. But if you run and gun, you don't really have to worry about that. It's just about trying to, to uh, catch them anyway when they're doing that. Because you're always on the move, so you're not going to get technically flanked like the rest of your teammates. If they're camping back, or if they're sniping from the other end, then they're the ones that are going to die. And if that's if they don't set up proper defenses, it's not your problem. Now, when you get a care package, you know, you want to be relatively close to it, but you want to take some sort of uh, cover in case someone's coming for it. Because I know when I'm seeing the enemy care package drop, I'm watching to see where that uh, helicopter stops so that I can... Because the dude's going to be close to there. So it's usually a fairly easy kill unless he's, like, highly skilled and then make it your ass handed to you. Just remember when you're using things like Predator missiles or anything where you have to control it, try and take some sort of cover here. I'm on the other side there, I'm in prone position behind a desk. It's an odd place to be and therefore safe to, to launch that sort of stuff. You don't always have to find like the perfect hidden corner or cove somewhere. And while it doesn't always work when you're placing like airstrikes, uh, predator missiles, that sort of thing, uh, well not predator missiles because you can see it, but airstrikes, um, Harrier strikes, like at least for the initial. Try and look when you get on the map there and, and be quick about it, especially on maps like this because people will move fast. But try and look at the opposite end. Wherever your team is, look at the opposite end of the map and place it somewhere along there. Now, usually with airstrikes, I try and um, make it so that it sweeps across diagonally or straight down one of the strips. Because in this one here, you're either going straight down either the sides or down the middle. Down the middle is kind of crazy, but people do do it, uh, so it's not that not that bad of an idea. Once in a while they do it, you may uh, get lucky. Um, again, it's just constantly moving. For me, on this one here, I actually like when I'm running and gunning. You'll notice I go in that bottom area a lot because I'm all about, no matter what game I'm in, uh, what map I'm in, I'm all about flanking the enemy. And I say it over and over and over again, and this map's no different. You're going to get kills by moving away from your teammates 
and trying to flank the enemy. And in this map here, the best way to do that is by using that underground. So wherever your team is, make sure you have uh, Marathon and Lightweight on and just blast your... Oh, look at that guy. I, you know what? Those dudes stay in there and they camp. Now, for camping, some people say that I camp. I mean, I, I kill and move, kill and move. Those dudes there stay in the same spot over and over again for some dumb reason. Those dumbasses seem to think that they can just sit there all day and keep getting kills. I mean, if you kill two people, consider yourself lucky. But then, for God's sakes, move. Don't be an idiot. Like, you know, don't hide in an area where everyone... You kill three people, that's half the team that knows where you are. One of them's gonna come looking for you. And if you think that you're gonna outsmart them by hiding underneath the stairs, give your head a shake because that's absolutely stupid. Alright? Don't do that. That's dumb gameplay. Anyone watching this video, stop doing stupid things like that. Oh, like, speaking of stupid things, <laughs> did you see that? I went down to pick up that uh, care package. I actually laid right beside the enemy. I thought I'd try and pick it up, and then I moved. And the time I got down to the other end, I realized I'm like, oh, crap, I was right, right near the enemy there. Uh, but, I mean, when you run and gun, there's no point in going back. It doesn't really matter. I could have turned around. I generally try and stay with momentum. That means... You know, like if I'm getting kills and I'm moving in a certain direction, I don't want to turn around. I find when you start questioning and hesitating on where you're turning and where you're going, that's when you end up getting killed. So stay on the paths. Stay on the perimeters. Perimeters are dangerous. Look for snipers, though. Like when you're walking down the sides here, if you're going to go... Um, this is why I like actually going in the uh, underground route down there to actually get across. Because if you're going up and down, even on the perimeters on the sides there, usually someone on the opposite side is going to uh, be looking straight down there with even just an assault rifle, sniper rifle, assault rifle, and they will pick people off. They mad camp down at the other end, and for good reason, because it's so easy in this map to start pegging people. So that's usually why I like using the underground passage. I mean, I can usually outmaneuver them down there. There's a, there's places for you to do drop shots or drop and take cover and then pop up and kill them. And then you can pop up behind all these guys, and especially get those guys that are camping at the end of uh, the perimeters, the outside, that are trying to peg people. And then you can blast and blow their heads off for staying there. Um... Yeah, like I said, I mean, you see, I'm in here constantly all, all the time. And whether you pop up on the top here to catch them and take a look at anyone sitting there or come up through the very back, it doesn't really matter. Just switch it up once in a while because if you keep coming up the stairs here, especially in this one here, if you try, if you take the stairs too much, that bit of time that it takes you to get from the bottom there all the way to the back and then flank them, they could have already moved forward and then you're wasting time. So sometimes it's a good idea to take that stairway just at the end, the other end, and then pop up uh, on top and start killing them that way. It saves a bit of time. Whoa, sniper, assault rifle, don't actually know where that came from. If you're watching the video, you'll probably be able to see it. I can't really see it when I'm watching the, uh, the edit here. So, and this is actually the alley. This is, what I'm doing there is pretty dangerous. Um, but I'm constantly scanning, like, I don't technically or typically rather get tunnel vision which is where I'm running I'm not solely looking at I move the controller so that I'm running in a certain direction but my eyes are constantly scanning I'm constantly looking for movements you need to do that you need to get out of the habit of wherever you're looking you know that's you know oh I'm gonna head to the other side and all of a sudden when you're running that's all you're focusing on that's how you get killed that's how you miss guys how you don't see dudes when you're running I'm looking up top like uh, in these buildings here oh, people actually go up top and everything like that and they can climb on the scaffolding while I'm running I'm looking uh, on all levels I'm looking below I'm looking at top I know it, it gets a little bit hard and it is uh, sometimes a little exhausting to do that However, if you want to get good at the game, you need to avoid tunnel vision. You need to be able to constantly be scanning your screen. You need to be able to constantly catch slight movements, uh, say on the far side, like just on the far right or left side of your screen and not center, and notice that it's actually an enemy. And if you can do that, you're going to increase your, your, uh, your kill-death ratio, or at least the number of kills that you're going to get. So definitely try and do that. Try and avoid... Uh, getting tunnel vision. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.